Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Anand, your pediatrics faculty and today's topic of choice we're going to talk about is approach to a dog bite. Yes, one of the very important exam question, approach to a dog bite. This has been an INICT question, this has been a NEET PG question. Now, first most important question, when do you celebrate World Rabies Day? World Rabies Day guys, please remember we celebrate on 28th of September. Exactly, World Rabies Day, we celebrate on 28th of September. So any patient coming to you with dog bite the first question is how do you approach this case so first thing whenever a patient comes to you you have to clean the wound with soap and running water you have to clean the wound with soap and running water now the question is for how many minutes should i clean the wound with soap and running water the options are 10 minutes or 15 minutes so please remember the best answer for this question is 10 minutes according to op Ghai 10th edition you should clean the wound with soap and running water for 10 minutes after that what is the next step the next step is category yes there are three categories of dog bite there are three categories of dog bite category one category two and category three now what is category one if the doggy has just licked the joint i'll repeat again if the dog has just licked the joint that is known as category one and if there is a cut if there is a cut which is not bleeding that is category two and if there is a cut which is bleeding also that is category three i'll repeat again there are three categories category one category two category three now first question what is the treatment for category one if the doggy has just licked the joint then what is the management of that the management is reassurance yes my dear the management is reassurance that no treatment is required now the second question category two the doggy has bit there is a cut and it is not bleeding known as category two the treatment for category two guys please remember it is tt and arv tt and arv what is tt tt is tetanus toxoid and what is arv it is anti rabies vaccine arv is given intradermal and very importantly tt tt is given intramuscular so the management for category one is reassurance the management for category two very importantly it is tt and arv the management for category three yes category three dog bite there is a cut and it's bleeding also now what is the management of that please remember very importantly you will give tt you will give arv and you will give ars tt ARV and ARS. Now what is ARS? ARS is anti-rabies serum. Exactly. Anti-rabies serum. Now there are two questions for anti-rabies serum. One is human rabies immunoglobulin and one is equine rabies immunoglobulin. Now the question is what is the dose of these two things? Human rabies immunoglobulin is 20 international units per kg and equine, the horse, the big one, equine rabies immunoglobulin is 40 IU per kg. So that is the most important treatment for category 3. The treatment is TT, you will give ARV, you will give ARS. TT is tetanus toxoid, ARV is anti-rabies vaccine and ARS is anti-rabies serum. So these were the important points regarding the dog bite and one very important last additional tip ARS anti rabies serum which is given intramuscular it is given once in lifetime please remember ARS is given once in lifetime so these are the important points regarding approach to a dog bite very important and before leaving we always have a quote what is the quote for today the quote for today is people say motivation doesn't last long people say motivation doesn't last long well neither does the bathing that's why we recommend it every day you brush your teeth every day you bath every day so you need to motivate yourself also every day so life is beautiful please take care and thank you